Corey here with Crash and Burn Racing, and today we're going to be changing things up a little bit by taking a look at this FT Super B uh, FP racing plane here. Now, when you build this, you're going to have this nice large opening here to fit any you know camera or whatever layout you want to do in here. But um, you have to get a little creative in how you're going to do that. So I went to the old 3D printer and came up with something that will make mounting a camera in this super easy. And that is this guy right here. This guy is made to slip right onto the nose. Let me get a good look on it here. There we go. There's the. Uh, now, this is made for your CCD and your CMOS board cameras. I decided to go that way because it's a nice, affordable way to drop a camera in here. Because I don't think most people are going to be wanting to spend, you know, thirty to fifty dollars on a, a, you know, a nice run cam in here. And I think it came out pretty good. Um, I happen to have one right here. This happens to be a uh, Eshin board camera CCD, and it simply pops right in here and you can secure it in these four screw locations here and this is how it will look on the front of the plane here as you can see it's just recessed in there so it should protect your camera pretty well and not only will this thing do a great job of holding your camera but one big thing about this this uh, edge of this uh, foam board here is that it will uh, take a lot of wear and tear, you know, raw edge like that. But this, just put a little glue on each side here. Don't use hot glue. This is 3D printed. It will warp the crap out of it. Just use some uh, some foam glue, and it goes in here just like so, and it cleans up that front of the plane real nice. And the bottom side here. Now uh, this is the second one. I put this large opening here for those people who have to slide their battery way forward because this plane does like to be um, a little nose heavy, so you or excuse me, tail heavy. So you really gotta shove that cam or that battery up here a lot of the time. So yeah, let me uh, get the camera screwed in here real quick, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, we got it secured into our camera bracket here. I just use the two screws from the top. I like to keep all the screws that come from my servo kit, so I just went through them and found these uh, two screws here that happen to fit real, real nice. Um, probably not going to run two in the bottom. I think these two will be plenty because you know if you crash, most of the force will be pushing the camera this way against this big flat part, so it'll be fine. So let's get this on the uh, oh, the plane here. Take a look how it looks, and there it is. It does a real nice job protecting your the edge of your foam board here. Because uh, we know that you know how weak this this edge can be, catching on the ground a lot, and yeah, there it is. Super easy way to mount your camera onto your Super B. Now, if you're interested in trying this out for yourself, there will be a link in the description below to Thingiverse where you can go ahead and download it, print it yourself, and in the next couple weeks here. I have another project that I've been working on that includes a body kit for the QAV um, X210. There's part of it right here. There's a couple more parts that go with it, but I want to give you guys a little look at it. And this will be put out on Thingiverse also. So, hey, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll be back again. Stay tuned. Catch you guys later.